Hi, I am Jonathan J. Reinhardt, host of Wargaming Recon, or as you can see from our lovely banner back here. So I'm coming at you with another unboxing video, and I'm using the term unboxing in its broadest sense. So I got something in the packet in, in the mail today. It's a package, of course. I got it in the mail today unexpectedly, and it is from someone called 4D10. And I was like, who the heck is 4D10? I don't know who they are, and why are they sending me something? So although this is an unboxing video, I have to come clean. I did already open the package, but for people who like to see unboxings, here we go. Oh my, look at that, it's open now. So let's see what it is. And the reason why, just back up, the reason why I had already opened it is because I said, I don't know who they are. I don't know what they were sending. So I wanted one, to see what it was, because I'm curious. And two, to make sure it was safe to put on the air. <laughs> so that's why, but open now. Got this nice little envelope, and it's rigid-ish, but it bends a little, so I was confused. And then we take it out, and we got a letter. And you can see it has a back of the package. And if I flip up the letter, because it's on with a little bit of painter's tape, we'll see it's for this, the cardmographer. And... Let me just quickly read the letter because I know reading letters is so exciting on videos, right? So I'm just going to go through it. It says, Dear Jonathan, thank you for agreeing to take a look at the Cardmogrifier, a special die cut template made out of a specialized polymer stock that allows anyone with a laser printer or inkjet printer to customize blank cards or replace the text and graphics on an existing card. The enclosed folder contains contains the card modifier template good for a poker sized card used in many popular card and board games it includes all instructions plus a little background on us 4d10 says a poker sized card is two and a half by three and a half inches it goes on to say this particular card modifier package is in the is the final production proof of the product with professional printing and die cutting with the companies that they will use for full production they're doing a kickstarter to raise funds, and there are also additional card marker templates for other popular size cards. They give a link, which I'll have in the description below. The link goes straight to the um, Kickstarter project, and they say that there are links to the InDesign, PDF, and Word templates needed to download to fit graphics within the card dimensions at their website, 4d10.com. They say to give it a try, make a custom version of an existing car a game card, Make the card you thought the game should contain. Create a gag card. And they say, let us and your readers, viewers, and other fans know how your creative efforts turned out. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact them via Kickstarter, Facebook, or email. And then they give some email addresses. Thanks for your attention. Steve Brandes, Dave Brandes, and Russ Lockwood. So Russ Lockwood is a name I know. And I think it's probably safe for me to say now that several months back, actually a while ago, when I was doing prep for the 10-year anniversary episode of my podcast we're giving recon i contacted russ because he had been a guest a few times on the show and he told me there's something new and secret coming out but he couldn't talk about it but that he's gonna get a prototype in my hands so i believe this is a prototype if you are not familiar with russ lockwood and some of you might not be you should know him from a few different things first of all he's a game designer who did snappy nappy which is a really easy and quick set of napoleonics rules you can buy it from on military matters and i believe List price is 29 American, as you can see right here, which is a really good deal. It's a nice looking book. He sent this to me before, so you can see Snappy Nappy. He's also edited a whole series of Wally Simon's Secrets of War Game Design, and he's done um, quite a few other things that he's edited. So there's a bunch of these, and this seems to be his newest endeavor. So let's open it up. I'm not going to review it here. I'll review it in 20... Keep on want to say 2010, 2017, and you think I get my years right. So we take it off with the painter's tape. And let's put it face up so we don't mess up my cigar box battle mat. You see it's fully sealed in plastic, and as it says in the bottom, um, pre-release sample contains poker-sized cardmographer only. I took a quick peek on their Kickstarter. They have two other uh, templates, or rather cardmographers coming out, I should say. One is for bridge size cards, and another is for like mini size cards. More information is on their Kickstarter. I will say when I took a quick peek on the Kickstarter that they're looking to raise $10,000, and 
It sounds like a lot of money to me. And they explain why in the thing, and I'll go into that at another time. It's not the place for an unboxing video. But I was a little shocked, and I think a lot of other people are too. So they do explain that there. So we'll see, this is nicely sealed. And you would have thought, I had thought to bring scissors down into the den for the opening. So as we can tell, it's not easy to open. And I'm going to do something that my dentist always hates. And I'm going to, oh wait, nope, did that work? It did. So I found a corner, and I was able to peel it off. So I'm presuming, but I don't know for certain, that if you back the Kickstarter, that it'll come like this. I mean, I'm sure it'll come in a thing like this, but I don't know if it's going to be shrink wrap or if this is just because it's a pre-release, I should say that. And I should also say this was sent to me for free for review, which I would do at another point, but for review. So let's open it up. we we'll see this is what we got. We get instructions. And this is the actual card modifier right here. It doesn't look like much, does it? But that's okay. So a little bit of cardboard on it and another page. This is what you get. And here are the instructions. I'm not going to go through how to do it because that's not the purpose. But you can see everything's packaged nicely. It was easy, pretty light to send one of these. I, I don't know the weight. I didn't weigh it. But you get right here. This is the card markifier right here. And it looks simple. But from what I understand, the, the trick here is that this is the same thickness as card that you get. So you, you get your card. A blank card, preferably, but you can get like a magic card that you clean off the top of cards against humanity card or a munchkin card or anything like that. You remove what's on there, which you can do. They give instructions for that on how to remove the artwork or the text and remove like the protective varnish from it. You tape it onto here just once at the top and once down here. They suggest using something like scotch magic tape because it's easy to remove. And the key is you don't want to damage this. So you position the card just right. You put this into your printer, and I know I said I wasn't going to explain how to do it, but I'm explaining how to do it. Put it into your printer whatever way that your printer does it. So if your printer needs the things face up, the goes face up. If it goes face down, it goes face down. They, I believe, said when you put this on it, you want to put the blank side of your card that you put it in here facing up towards the way that gets printed. So if you need to put like labels and things in your printer so that it prints on the surface, because it just goes in and just goes and prints right on top, you put it facing up. If you need it to be on the other side, you do the same thing, so you put it in. And they have little instructions, no, pictures, photographs there. So this is a card modifier. They have a variety of different price points on their Kickstarter. You can look at that for the pricing and everything. I think you can get all three templates for 14 bucks or just the poker one for nine bucks. I can tell you, and this maybe goes into a little bit of review space, but I can tell you that one thing that excites me about this just from the little that I understand it, actually two things that accept me. First of all, it seems really easy to do. I am not someone who's very arts and crafty. So I know that in the past, if you wanted to do something like this, you had to do a lot of cutting and taping and really fiddly things. And even at the end of it, it wouldn't come out very well and wouldn't be durable. Or you'd have to go to something like Drive the Cards or the Game Craft or something like that to have them make it for you and it would cost you a bundle. So either way, you're going to spend a lot of time if you're doing the arts and crafty thing or a lot of money if you were doing like the game crafter or drive the cards or something like that. So this allows you to do it yourself. Yeah, you can spend money in ink or if you have a laser jet doing like that whole thing. I think they recommend laser jet. How many of us have a laser jet at home? I don't know. Not me. I get ink jet. I get an Epson. But they say it works on Windows. It works on Mac. Um, and you just you put it in so you can make your cards easily. And the other reason for me why I pretty excited about this is I had bought some of the Aurelian army decks way back with the intention of using them instead of miniatures to play Hail Caesar. Sacrilege, I know! Where are the minis? Because I thought it'd be easy and a quick way to get going. But one of the problems was there are only four army decks. All right, he calls them, Sam Mustafa calls them unit tiles, but army decks basically that you could buy from drive through cards. And if you wanted other armies, what were you going to do? So I talked with my co-host, Mike Payne, about how can I make my own and this and that, and very convoluted. But here we go. I can use the card modifier right here. Of course, that's anticlimactic <laughs> right here. 
to do it myself. And granted, it's one card at a time. I get it. So it's going to take some time. But I can do it with hair, do it more cheaply, just get some of the supplies that they suggest, and make them myself so that I can expand the number of uh, cards that I have, the number of army options for that. And I suppose one could do it for Aurelian. And I don't know what the licensing issues are there. So I'm not suggesting you do that nor encouraging you to do that. But you can bet I'm going to mention this to Mr. Sam Mustafa, because I know he has said that one of the issues with keeping him from doing those extra unit tiles was the cost of going through a thing like that. Now, granted, if he does this, he would have to package himself and send him out. But if he had made the artwork available online so that people like you or me could buy the artwork and then print them ourselves, so we're paying for his art, but he can do it che more cheaply because we're not paying for the cards. But if he's like, you can buy a whole army de deck, oh, sorry, unit tiles for, I don't know, the ancient Egyptians. And granted, that doesn't make sense for Aurelian, but you get what I mean. Like another army, you get it from him. He has all the artwork and everything done. You pay, I don't know, 10 bucks for the art. And then you print it yourself. Would you do that to expand it? I would. And that makes Aurelian even more playable. And then it's something he could also pursue if he wanted to do other card-based games. He's working on Rommel right now, so who knows? But I know other game designers. Peter Blitz Bryant, who has a game, Cube of Death. I'm going to mention it to him because it could be a way for him to expand things. So the card modifier, links in the description down here. Or if you're viewing this on Facebook, I'll try to remember to put a link in there. But you can get the link to go to the Kickstarter. And like I said, I'll review it in 2017. The Kickstarter will be over by then, but I'll actually review the product and try to get my hands on a finished, non-proof, non-preview product. So as you can see, this is pre-release, just so you see again, pre-release. And there we go. So thank you for watching this unboxing video. Arr, noisy. Unboxing video here from Wargaming Recon. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you take the time to listen to the podcast, wargamingrecon.com. And usually there's a link down here, and I, of course, forgot to put it in. So I will put that in right now for all of you. So that way you can see, bam, bam, right there. Wargamingrecon.com is a way to get to the show. You listen to it. It comes out every other week only at wargamingrecon.com. So thank you as always, and you know the drill. Keep on gaming.